what's up guys hello and welcome back to my channel the very first thing I would like to say is I promise in videos coming I'm not gonna look like this I promise I'm gonna try to do a little better but I'm real tired also in this lighting this side of my hair looks significantly darker than this side of my hair which both looks not great because I just got out of the shower and didn't do anything to my hair. So this is it and it's natural glory. Do you guys remember the picture I posted when my hair looked good? <sighs> Let's all remember it fondly and how it will never look like that again. Okay. So for this video where I look horrendous, I want to talk about um, what I have decided is going to be some, some tea. Of this Jeffree Star and Morphe brush collaboration and it's not really gonna be like tea I don't really feel like it's drama hold on that's way better it makes my skin look better anyway anyway uh, I'm actually gonna throw like a teeny bit of makeup on I'm probably just gonna do some brows um, I don't have any plans tonight because it is Super Bowl but I'm anti Super Bowl because I am a Saints fan and the Saints got absolutely fucking robbed of getting to go to the Super Bowl. <clears throat> so, me and my husband are going to watch the Super Bowl, but we're just going to watch the commercials and not the actual game. I don't know where my eyebrow stuff is, actually, so I may not do my eyebrows ever again. Where the fuck is my eyebrow stuff? Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm going to keep looking for it, and I know you guys super love it when I do this and just say I'm uh, looking crazy. I just don't know where I fucking do it. Where is that? I feel like Batman. Where is she? Nope. Not there. So, I went through all my stuff, right? Because I was cleaning my makeup brushes. And I should never do that because all this is very unorganized. So, when I do that... Hold on. You guys, I really don't know where my eyebrow stuff is. That's not great. Oh, God. Oh, God. I shouldn't move this. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, that doesn't look great. Well, that's fine. Now I'm going to be panicked the entire video because I don't know where my eyebrow stuff is and I just bought it. <laughs> okay. So anyway, moving on, I'm going to try to not let my crazy psycho girl brain that I have make it where I can only focus on the fact that I can't find my eyebrow stuff instead of what I'm trying to fucking talk about, but I feel like that's exactly what's happening literally right now because I cannot even function because I don't know where my eyebrow stuff is. You know what? Let me pause. Let me be a good YouTuber. Let me pause and find my eyebrow shit. Hold on. Hi. I found it. It was up clear on the other side of the room. Like, I threw it. And, like, I don't want to definitively, like, say I didn't throw it because it sounds like something I would do, but I don't really have any memory of throwing it. Just need a little moisturizer. Anyway, so, Jeffree Star, right? Now we're three minutes in. I have done nothing but be super annoying and look for eyebrow stuff. Anyway, so, here's my thing. As we all know, Jeffree Star, right? He, hold on. I'm cleaning this. I'm like the worst YouTuber today. I was not prepared. Okay. So, I was way better. So, as we know, we all have seen these brushes that Jeffree Star is coming out with with uh, Morphe Brush Cosmetics. We've all fucking seen them because he teased them like three years ago. Three years ago. On his uh, like Snapchat and stuff, he talked about, oh, he posted a YouTube video about it too, I remember. And he talked about them like in 2015 or something. So here's my thoughts. The brushes, number one, that he showed in those videos look nothing like the brushes that he's releasing. Not in my opinion. Like, I mean, they're both pink chrome, but these have, like, that weird handle. And the brushes in those videos were just, like, regular, like, makeup brushes, but they were pink. So, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that part. My thing now is I think the reason that he's releasing them is I think he's under some sort of contract that since he's made them, now they have to be released. And he's just like, whatever. Here you go. Here's some makeup brushes. Fine. Like, I worked on them three years ago before my brand was, like, big and important and stuff. But now I have to because I'm contractually obligated to do so. 
And that's really what I think about it. I don't think he gives a shit about those brushes at all. Like, whatsoever. Like, that's why they barely promoted this launch at all. Pause. Real quick. I have found this stuff. This shit is called Wonder Brow. And this was a big thing, like, some years ago. It looks like a lipstick. But, um, it's waterproof eyebrow stuff, right? And I just do it with a brush like this. And this shit is amazing. I've been testing it a little bit because I kind of wanted to see how it would go before I, um, really, at, like, told you guys to use it. Or, like, what is that word I'm looking for? Recommended? Yeah, before I recommended it to you guys, I wanted to see if it actually worked, if it held up like it's supposed to. And let me tell you, the shit is amazing. Like, I will put it on my eyebrows. And I won't have to do my eyebrows for like two days because it'll just be there. Like I'll do some touch ups, but then I have to take it off because I feel like it's probably gross to just sit there for longer than that. But I'm sure, I'm sure it could because it's really good. And it does have a little bit of time to like manipulate the product. Now I will say like spots like here where I don't really have any eyebrow hair, it's not the absolute best. It sticks really well on places that I do have a lot of eyebrow hair, like right through here where I've got a lot. It holds really well on the places like the tail here where I don't have like you can see like a huge difference in where the there's no more eyebrow hair but you know otherwise I really can't complain I honestly really like it looks really natural but when it does dry it is on there babe like it is there so how I have to do it is like that just kind of put down the first like layer of it and then get my concealer and then carve it out real quick and then it'll stay that way for a couple days. So, I just want to put that out there. It is super fucking hot in my room. Ooh, is that a fan? Ooh, I may have a fan. Hold on. Is it plugged in? Oh my god, it's plugged in. I don't think that's super loud and annoying. But you guys can let me know if it's super loud and annoying. I don't know. But, I'm like blazing hot right now. Because it's Florida. So... Anyway, so back to Jeffree Star and these brushes. I don't really think that this is something he's super invested in. I think maybe at one point in time he was. Because I remember how excited he was talking about collabing with Morphe. And I know how many, um, you know, drama channels have made assumptions like, oh, well, they didn't come out because they were working with Jaclyn Hill. And Jaclyn Hill and Jeffree apparently had some big falling out. So, she like blocked it. She was like, no, I will not collaborate with you if you collaborate with Jeffree Star. But I don't know if that's actually true. That's just what the rumor mill is spinning around. I mean, it could be true. I don't know. Because doesn't Jaclyn Hill like own Morphe now or something? I, she, I don't think she does. But it's just really funny to me because that's all she ever talks about. Because it's, I watched Jaclyn Hill like some years ago. And this is not who this video is about. And I'm not going to harp on it for a long time. But it... It used to be all she ever talked about was Sigma. She talked about them forever. And then Sigma, 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 Mac, 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 Mac. And that was like her whole thing. Is, oh, these Sigma brushes, all oh, this Mac makeup. And then like when she started working with Morphe, it was nothing but Morphe forever. That was it. And she would always say the same thing. This is by far the best brush I've ever used in my entire life. And I will never use another one as long as I live. About every brush that I use. Which... I mean, I understand that to an extent because we all have a product that we like and that we, you know, keep going back to until it's your favorite product until you have a new favorite product. Like, I don't think that's super weird. I do think she's a lot more invested in Morphe than we know. But, I mean, whatever. She's out there making her money. But also, Jeffrey's products are also sold in Morphe stores, so maybe he's a lot more, like, invested than we know. Like, everybody talked about why he didn't um, want to review the foundations. He was just like, you know, I really don't review a lot of Morphe stuff because I don't want to seem biased and, you know, I have a really good relationship with them, blah, blah, blah. But when he did review it, he reviewed it on Twitch instead of YouTube, which I honestly didn't think it was that weird because he is, that was a video that everybody wanted to see. And he's trying to boost his new platform, Twitch, that Nathan streams on or whatever, as a new source of revenue. So, I don't think it's that weird that he did it, did his review on Twitch. I mean, he was trying to get some views. Like, that's what we're all doing here, is trying to get some views. That's why we all showed up today, is because that's what it's about. 
Like, I know it sounds horrible, but I mean, it's about views. If you're not getting views, then nobody out here has been doing YouTube for five years and has two followers and is fine with that. Like, that's just not the way it works. But, you know, that's what I personally think is why he decided to do that review on Twitch is he was trying to boost his following, which I think is a smart move. It's his own content. Why not? You know, if he wants to do it on a different platform, fine. Sometimes I'll do questions like that. Like, I never say, ask me questions on Twitter, but, you know, I'm trying to get better at Twitter. And if I have more people that follow me on Twitter and talk to me, I would do it more. So, I have, like, maybe a hundred followers on Twitter. So, I mean, I think that's fairly obvious. I don't feel like I have to explain that. I don't feel like that's being dishonest. But that's why anybody does, you know, anything like that. And I don't think that's that weird. I do think it's weird that they only tease this product out um, like two days, like a day actually, before it launched. And then they were like, oh, ha, ha it launches tomorrow, we're gonna reveal it tomorrow, here's one teaser. Okay, well it comes out in two days, like, we're just like, okay. And I think they've just been fucking sitting somewhere in a warehouse, like just waiting until, like, for whatever reason. And, you know, with stuff like that, contracts and stuff are involved, so maybe there was a time limit? I don't know. Like, you have to, I mean, just assume that he was contractually obligated to go through with it after the brushes got made. That's just my opinion. I don't really know anything about business, so I don't know. But, see, look how easy that was to these brows. And once they dry, like, you can touch them, you can move them around, and they don't move at all. So, now we got some brows on, I feel a little better. I may throw on a little bit of, like, something, just because I'm sitting here and I, you know how I am. Like, I have to be doing something. I can't just be sitting here talking because, I mean, that would make me a good YouTuber and we're all aware of, you guys are all aware of who you signed up to fucking watch today. And it was not YouTuber of the world, best, you know, best channel that you've ever seen in your life. It was me. So, I think that, I want some, this hydrating primer from Ponja. But I really think that Jeffrey's just trying to get this shit over with. Like, I don't know if I think the brushes are going to be awesome quality. I think they're going to be fine. I see a lot of people showing brushes that are similar on, like, Ally Express and stuff. But, you know, I don't put a lot of stock into that either. Because, like, my Unicorn Cosmetics brushes that I love that look like this, that look like, you know, little, what is this, Mermaid Tails. I use these brushes all the time. There's these brushes on Ally Express as well. But I don't think it's the same thing at all. So, I mean, that copies, you know, maybe Morphe did copy them. I, I don't fucking know. And all that stuff is private labeled, which we all know Morphe does. Like, they don't, like, create their own stuff. Like, they buy it. Except for, like, creator collabs. And maybe they make their own stuff now. I don't fucking know. But they used to not. And they just bought things that were already created through a private label and then put their name on it. And now, I don't know how I feel about Jeffrey kind of joining in on this nonsense because... I feel like at the time that he made the deal, it probably sounded like a great idea. But I feel like now, at this point in his career, he's probably like, mm, I wish I ain't did. I wish I ain't did that. And now I have to go through with it because I made, I created them. Like the brushes are created, so they have to be sold, which is what I really think is going on. Like why no one made a big deal. And I watched his video, and I saw a couple other channels saying that he just really didn't look like he was into it. And, like, he didn't seem like himself. Like, he wasn't really excited about the products. I thought he was. Like, but, I mean, again, none of us know him. So, we're all just speculating. I think it's fine. I don't think he's, like, the most excited I've ever seen another human being be about anything. But, like, he was just whatever about it. Just like, okay. Like, I've been talking about these brushes for some years. And here they are. There you go. The brushes. Like, I don't think it was a big, like, wow, finally. But he's also got his own makeup brand. So, collabing with somebody else is probably not exciting for him at all. Like, he's just like, okay. Like, I have to give half of my proceeds to you or however much. I only make a percentage of whatever I sell. As opposed to his own brand where he gets all the money. <laughs> For the products that he sells. And I feel like maybe that's not fun. Like for him. I mean it wouldn't be fun to me. If I. I mean I get it. Getting exposure or whatever. But he's already sold in Morphe stores. Like he doesn't need any. Like. Everybody knows who he is. Like I don't understand. Well. Now I really don't understand the crazy conspiracies. Everybody's like. Oh my god. 
he just bought these and slapped his name on them. I'm just like, he has a Gucci store basically in his fucking house. Like, he is not concerned with, like, he doesn't need the money. Like, I don't understand why it has to be super scandalous. Like, I feel like he's under a contract and he has to do what he said he was going to do three years ago. And that's pretty much it. Now, I think that those sponges are going to be fucking terrible because the regular Morphe sponges are, you guessed it, fucking terrible. They're hard as rocks. And I don't know how all these influencers are like, oh my god, this is my favorite sponge. I'm like, it hurts my face to use it. And I am not like a sensitive ass bitch. It is so hard. And I get it. Maybe that's a great thing. Maybe it just doesn't soak up as much product. I don't fucking know. Hurts my face. Don't like it. Point blank period, not a fucking fan of that sponge. I will not be buying it. I'm probably not going to buy any of that collection. Let's just be really fucking real. I'm not going to buy that. I don't need it. Like, I have makeup brushes that I like just fine. And oh, look how pretty this is, by the way. If you guys didn't know, this is like an actual, like, fake, like a real fake flower in there. It's not highlighter shaped like a flower. It is a flower. And the highlighter is, like, dusted on top. I really like this. Lancome, Lancome, but yeah, I don't know, I just feel like maybe we're reading a little bit more into the situation than there is with this whole Jeffrey thing, and I don't know, I'm a little annoyed that he's trying to act like that's a good ass makeup sponge when we all know that sponge is a piece of fucking shit, it is hard as a rock, maybe it's a good thing, maybe it's supposed to be hard like that so it soaks up less of your product. I don't fucking know the answer, but I don't like it. I bought one, and I don't even, I think I threw it in the garbage. Like, I have no idea what even happened to it. Trash. Didn't want anything else to do with it. Super hard. You can get this fucking Echo Tool sponge for like $5 at Walmart, and it's awesome. You can get the Shana B. Miami ones for like 10 or 15 and they're huge. Like, and they, they're giant. Like, look how fat that sponge is. And they're awesome and they're so soft and they're textured. I talked about these before. They're textured. So if you have like textured skin or big pores like I do, when you put on your makeup with a textured sponge like this, it really presses it into those like creases in your face and it looks more flawless at the end. I love this sponge. I love that brand though. Like a question that I got from one of my, my dudes on um, the questions that I'm going to answer now because I'm talking about Shane B. Miami. Like I would love to work with her. They're an hour away from me. She's like a small indie company, but everything she puts out is really, really good. They don't have a ton of shit, but the stuff that she sent me, I really like thoroughly enjoyed. I would love to work with her. I think she's amazing. Anyway, I think a lot of this is a little ridiculous. Like we're still reaching. We're trying to make drama out of everything. Now that if you want to see some drama, watch some actual drama. Watch any Trisha Paytas video ever in the world and you'll see some goddamn drama. Like that is a dramatic woman. I like her. I watch her videos. She dramatic. I watch it because I want to see some drama. I don't watch that to be like, that's not like my ASMR. Like she's going to do something that's fucking dramatic and I'm here for it. I see her for who she is. I'm about it. So that's just my opinion about the whole situation and I've made this really long winded and I talked about makeup and stuff but I mean I said that I would talk about it so I'm gonna my hair looks weird let's lay down there buddy let's okay so yeah you guys thank you so much for hanging out with me today if you would like you can follow me on all my other social media accounts you can follow me on Instagram at grunge x glitter x you can follow me on Twitter and snapchat at grunge x glitter and you can follow me on Facebook at grunge and glitter dash k p Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Tell me in the comments below what you think about this launch because I'm curious. And is it just me that's like, why is everybody freaking out? Like, he probably has to. Like, I'm not saying that I think the brushes are going to be awesome or terrible. I like Morphe brushes as long as they're the same quality as a regular Morphe brush. I'd probably fucking like it. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not, you know, cool enough to know these huge differences in these makeup brushes. But, like, I, I like them. They work well for me. So, whatever. Anyway, guys, see you later. Thank you so much. Our next video will be the q and I'm just giving everybody time, you know, to see that I'm asking for questions. And I just, I feel like a lot of people get left out. And then somebody always gets upset that their question didn't get answered. So, you guys have time. That'll be the next video. And I'll see you later. And I'll try to look better. I promise. 
I promise. Bye.